tan male.
and then uh, where there was more distractions like squirrels and kids and noises. So as nice as he is at following me around, he is still showing an environmental side. Yay! Yay! Very well done. So a lot of people take their puppies to a big family picnic or a park and then they get upset that the puppy uh, doesn't pay any attention. Now I've only known him for five minutes and you can see that he knows exactly where I am. So you want to get that bond with your puppy so that when you go somewhere he also wants to know where you are. It's not just a matter of you uh, finding him and looking for him all the time but he should genuinely want to be with you. So he can Yay! Very good. So he can uh, go and play with kids and other dogs, but he should come back and look for you. So he did a very, very good job. He's pretty well a, a nice mix. He's very curious still, but he sure knew where I was. We're going to get him to come. So, 
that's just a great um, a great game. So the retrieval part isn't a natural thing for him, but it'll come. Like he's very interested. You can see his tail is getting a little more active. Sometimes uh, scratching, yawning, and, or just like signs of a little bit, he's not sure. But look at his tail, his body height is lovely. So, very good. Very good. Very good, Bucky. Yay. So this little guy is quite responsive to like a higher, my higher pitched voice. So keep that in mind. He's pretty responsive to however you're going to be. So really, yeah, just keep playing with this. It'll come. That, that was a good effort. So some pup, some dogs and some breeds are very uh, retrieved very well. <laughs> the retrieval part was not natural to him, but it will come by the way he was interested. If not paper, get a ball that he was he would like or something. So we're gonna try a little treat test because what we uh, have found is that if if the puppy is overstimulated by the treat, that it's really counterproductive because he can't concentrate. If you're trying to get him to sit, lay down, stay, whatever it is. Um, and all he wants is that treat. It's a little bit um, setting him up for failure, really. So you want to know how he reacts to a treat. So what we're going to do is hopefully you can see. We're going to put a treat under a cup. Look. Look on the floor. He knows is a reward, but it doesn't send them like over the top excited. Yes, good boy. So he did really, really well. Very smart little man. Alrighty. What are we going to do now? Where's my. fairly loud noise uh, from behind, so he wasn't expecting it. We expect a startle because it is uh, a, a surprise. It's how he recovers from that noise that we're trying to assess here. So he didn't run, he didn't run to me crying. He didn't go where, you know, when he first came in, he didn't go to the door. But he has sat down a little bit, as you can see. He's not sure what that was. His body height and uh, tail didn't really change. 
But the fact that he's laying down and not investigating means that he's uh, really a bit unsure. So he did a fairly good job, but he may um, he may benefit from increasing, you know, the de a desensitization. So what I was what I'm doing is um, just sort of changing his mindset by giving him something to play with. Or you could uh, call him and give him treats. Um, the, the biggest thing is not to coddle him when he's upset. Good puppy. Good puppy. What? What's this? Can you come in here? What's this? There's a ball in here. Yes. See, nice soft tail. Off he goes. And I think he's going to the bathroom again. Maybe? Did that scare you? <laughs> That's so happy. That's okay. Yeah. What do you want to do next, little man? So he, he would benefit from you uh, doing that noise uh, quietly and then building on the noise and just desensitize him to, to noises. It's a lovely way to build confidence and uh, that's it. What is this? Yes, yeah, look. Look. You going to come and see? No. Puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy. Ah, he's, he's, he's good and vocal. I really like that. You know, puppy. Are you gonna come and see what this is? Come, come and see what it is. Yeah. So a little bit of encouragement to come. Uh, but it's not so much uh, shy of this, it's a sh it, it was a um, leftover from the noise. Oh no, it's not going. It got bent somehow. Must have got bent in my box. So he's not, he's not overly um, scared, but he's a little bit timid in his approach. So again, the recommendation is just everything you can think of uh, in a nice manner, uh, new sounds, new motions, new colors, just build up his confidence. Um, it's such a nice way to go through life as opposed to being a little bit unsure of things. So he's not like running away from it scared. He's just sort of like not not interested, but uh, just to uh, keep introducing things. <laughs> so we do a prey test. everything he's feeling. And you can see he's pretty attached. So even though he was feeling a little bit, you know, not sure, he was very quick to pick up on this. He's pulling it. <laughs> there hasn't been a real huge kill shape. But he's certainly using his paws, he wants it. So he has a, a you know, medium to high, like a prey drive. And all that 
really means is that you should really practice your um, exercises like drop it, leave it, watch me. Um, in the real world there are porcupines and skunks and you don't want them chasing kids on bikes. So do all your exercises that you can that will put his attention back on you. <laughs> so overall he's a, a lovely little happy guy. I hope you have fun. He's lovely. Yay! You want it? Now I want to get over here. Whoop.